All right, hello people. I got a video here for a very common error that you're gonna see on most any computer. This one happens to be a Dell laptop, a 5430. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this up to the to the camera. Hopefully you can see what this error is. But you'll know when you, when you come across the error, plus the title of this video, you're gonna know what this error is. It's invalid configuration error, okay? Let me see if I can get it close enough to where well, that's actually readable. The lighting is not too good here. This is saying invalid configuration error. Okay. It says uh, invalid configuration information. Please run setup program. Next line says time of day not set. Please run setup program. The next line says to continue press F1. To change setup options press F2. To run onboard diagnostics press F5 okay so this is the error that I'm addressing in this video you probably come across and then the the fix for this error is very very simple it just takes a little bit of work this simply means that the BIOS has lost its information okay now the reason the BIOS has lost its information is the CMOS battery is dead. So what I'm gonna do is I'll show you quick how to change out the CMOS battery and then that'll clear this error. I get this on a regular basis because you know I fix and repair and refurbish newer laptops, older laptops, everything in between. So you know this is fairly common to get with the laptop comes in, uh, it's seen better days. And the CMOS battery's gotten tired and, and given up. So Let's change out the CMOS battery. I have another CMOS battery here. Okay, this particular one is for the Dells, the Dell Latitudes, and it has four pins, okay? On the end, it's got four pins. Now, the only thing about these CMOS batteries is they all vary, okay? They're all pretty much three volt. I believe this one says three volt. Uh, it's either three or 3.5 volt. I'm not exactly sure from memory, but it's very common for them to all be the same. It's very common for them to all be the same uh, voltage. I have another one here because I bought some CMOS batteries, and I'm not sure which laptops I was doing at the time of refurbishing. But if you look at this one, okay, it's the same voltage, the same three volts. It's a little smaller size. But it's still the same three volts and this one is two pin i'm not sure if i can make it so you can see the two pin try to make it so the the two pin part shows up but if i can't i can't that's all right anyway uh from what i've seen they come in two pin they come in four pin they really only need two pin not quite sure as to why some of them even have the four pin is all you need it's a battery right and it's only got two leads right hot in the ground positive negative how do you want to call it even this one with the four pin even with the four pin only has two leads you see that actually it's my mistake is this one actually has more than more than two leads. This has a red, a white, and a black. So this has a hot, a ground, and a neutral. Okay, so that's why this has, we have the four pins. <coughs> not, not off the other certain, what purpose that's for. So. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna remove this battery, okay. Now once the battery is out, we want to move this, this large access panel. Okay, there's four screws to take out for this access panel. I'm going to do them from back here. You're not going to be able to see real well what it is that I'm doing, but there's one, two, three, 
four four screws okay that's for that's for these dells these 55 30s this one's a 54 30 these dells all have this one big access panel so four screws to get that off okay these are all the same uh, m2.5 times three m2.5 by three are these Take my glasses off here to get a better look. My glasses are for distance. Uh, they're not for close up, even though they're bifocal, they don't work. They don't work real well close up. Okay. I had put uh, I had put Loctite on these screws. Not thinking that I was gonna have to open this laptop back up. But it's kinda hard to account for uh, for a dead CMOS battery, it's not like the it's not like the main laptop battery. Okay, so this access panel is now off. All right, this is the uh, solid state drive that I put in here, uh, 256 gigabyte uh, Samsung Evo. I got two four gigabyte. Uh, memory modules for 8 gigs of memory okay next see where the CPU is all right you see where the CPU is here that's the, the CPUs in it the CPUs right under there next we're going to remove this panel right here okay that's another four screws that panel is another four screws there's one on each outside edge of that panel. One here. This one makes two. And then there's two in the middle on the inside. Okay. Two smaller ones. We have five millimeter and eight millimeter blank screws. Two five millimeter and two eight millimeter just came out of there. Okay, now for this panel, I'm gonna just pull it off. Okay, now that I've pulled that panel off. Okay, see the connector here? I'll get up close where you can see that connector. That connector, that's the CMOS battery, the 4 pin CMOS battery. So I'm just going to pull that out, pull the battery itself out from its casing where it's stored. Now let's put the new battery in. Okay, now the battery. The connectors are up against one edge, okay? They're not centered, they're up against one edge. So you gotta go with the edge that they're up against and use that edge. Use that edge with the pins right here. The pins, you can't you can't really see it, but if you're doing this yourself at some point when you go to do this, look at the the connector on the end of the battery and look at the connector on the motherboard okay and you're going to want to put this so those four pins are right up against the edge okay i've done this backwards before and destroyed the daggone motherboard with, with any with any connectors any connectors on motherboards okay it's not hard it's not hard to reckon so this is going back in all right it's, still, it's pretty much just going to sit in there because uh, these have these have an adhesive on them. The once they're off, they're they're off. You know, that adhesive is not going to reseal. It's not going to reseal. But that that battery is not going anywhere. 
sitting in tight in there. So now we're going to put we're going to put this little plate back on over here. screws on the outside. I know this isn't much to look at, but me working way out here and the camera can barely see it. I don't have an overhead camera or any of that kind of fancy stuff. This is low budget. So, okay, those two screws are in. 8 millimeters. I got the 5 millimeters right here. There's that one. There's this one. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the big access panel back in place. Square it up. All right. Same four, same four screws going back in five millimeters. shame they put all that good Loctite on these and then they had to come out. I think that CMOS battery went dead while this laptop was sitting. I had pulled the CPU from this laptop uh, to send to a customer. I had sold a, a Dell i3 Core i3 CPU and then I couldn't find the Core i3 CPU that I told him. So he asked, he said a 2520i5 would fit. So this one had a 2520i5, so it got taken out, okay? Let me get up close a little bit here so you guys actually have something to look at. So now, this is going on. This is going on back in, this battery. It's going back in. All right. Now, let's, let's flip this up and let's see if we get any sort of invalid configuration error. I'll get this a little closer to you. Let's see what happens. Hopefully the CMOS battery that I put in here is good. I took it from a another Dell that I had sitting around. I'll give this a second to come up. I'm sure it's taking itself a minute because it has a new CMOS battery in it. You know, anytime you change out any kind of hardware, hard drive, memory, anything like that, it's gonna take it's gonna take it a minute to post. Okay. We're still getting the same error, but now we're gonna we're gonna restart it because that might be from before. Okay, let's find out. So I'm gonna do Control Alt Delete. I'm gonna reboot it, and now let's see let's see if that error has cleared up. Now the error is gone. Okay. Now the way you're gonna make sure. That everything is good and that the CMOS battery is good. Normally you'd, you'd be using a brand new CMOS battery. I have ordered some new ones but they haven't come in yet and I got a minute so I wanted to give you guys this video. Okay so we're gonna shut this down. We're gonna pull the laptop battery and then without the laptop battery the only thing that keeps that CMOS going is the CMOS battery and let's see and make sure that it maintains its information. It's configuration information, okay? And then we'll be rid of that error. And uh, 
We'll have a good working lapse out there. So I'm just doing the window shut down. All right. It's shut down. Give it a second for the hard drives to stop. Okay. Now let's pull the battery. And this is what we're checking. Hopefully you guys stayed through the whole video because uh, I know it was a little boring without a lot to see when I was out there uh, taking this apart and everything. But now the laptop's not plugged into to power. There's you know the charger's not plugged in. There's no AC power coming into the DC power jack. There's nothing plugged in. There's no battery power. There's nothing. So the only thing to keep that configuration uh, is the CMOS battery. So if I put a good CMOS battery in here, that error is not coming back, okay? Uh, would have been nice if I'd used a brand new CMOS battery to do this video, but I don't have one. So let's put this battery back in. Now, as long as the CMOS battery that I put in here is good and has a charge, then it's good. it will have held that configuration while that laptop was shut down without the battery. And uh, that error will be gone. And I can see that it's booting up to Windows and we no longer have that error. So we have a good CMOS battery in there. So that's it for today for the video. Uh, I hope this has helped somebody. Not only with that error, maybe a little bit. You can, you can mention in the comments if you guys need any help with taking apart any certain model model of Dell laptops or, or HP laptop for that matter uh, just let me know I'll make a video okay you guys can comment as to what it is you want to see taken apart or put back together I have quite a number of, of laptops here okay yeah everybody have a good day thanks for watching